Before we begin, we would like to say that, in our opinion, what follows is not suitable for children, or for those of you who are Marxists, woke wankers, or complete fucking ming-mongs. Right, should we get started? Yes! Right, I'm ready when you are. Here we go, then. Hold tight, everyone! Sake. Piss off! Why am I surrounded by idiots? Hello, Grumpies. Greetings from the Shadowband Dimension. Remember Martha Jones's mum in that moment when she slapped David Tennant's doctor? There's always acceptable violence from the left. Now we know why she slapped him. We've always wondered what that bloke whispered in her ear. Well, now we know. Turns out that he told her that Tennant's Doctor was the one who saved the Queen from the Titanic on Christmas Day. Arsehole Banjo is a Republican racist who got in trouble recently with Ofcom for saying that the balcony at the coronation was terribly white, which is an incredibly racist thing to say. Can you imagine if... They were covering the coronation of, say, the King of Tonga, and someone had said, Oh, that balcony, it's terribly black, isn't it? Perhaps someone should point out to Arsola Banjo and the rest of the racist Republicans that uh, part of the reason why the balcony is pretty white is that England is still 85% fucking white. Like, Scotland is 96% white, so you shouldn't really be surprised that, Oh my God, there's a lot of white people on that balcony. And if the left is so tolerant and inclusive, why is the colour of their skin a fucking issue in the first place? You see, it's always the left who are drawing attention to the differences between us. Now, the most interesting thing about this is, of course, that nobody called her out. All the other people sat there, Julie Etchingham, Tom Bradbury, some royal biographer granny on the end. Nobody said a fucking word. Though Mylene Class, to be fair, at least did have a WTF face on. What our solar banjo forgets is that, of course, the balcony wouldn't have been quite so terribly white if Meghan Markle hadn't turned out to be an evil narcissist who decided to do a rerun of Edward and Mrs. Simpson. Arsehole Banjo stars in that Bridgerton blackwash bollocks, which rewrites history to say that, oh, in Regency times there were lots of non-white people, which is, of course, complete shite. Speaking of complete shite, we got another publicity photograph where cutie gay wank looks absolutely fucking ridiculous. How many outfits is this bloke wearing? Is he going to do a purse where he have a different costume every story? When I first saw this, I thought, is this Doctor Who or fucking horrible histories? Looks fucking ridiculous. Speaking of horrible, we got a trailer for the upcoming not-so-specials that are meant to celebrate 60 years of Doctor Who starring David Fuckwit Tennant. The first one apparently is called The Star Beast, which is an adaptation rewrite of the second Doctor Who weekly comic strip from 1979. The second one has the boring title of Wide Blue Yonder for some fucking reason, which is fan wank with the Celestial Toy Maker, by all accounts. And the last one is called The Giggle. Seriously, is RTD having a fucking laugh? The Giggle. So this is going to be a regeneration story. What's, what's Dr. 14 going to do? Is he going to fucking laugh himself to death? Mind you, he probably would if he realised what a fucking joke his past few lives had been. Speaking of laughs, the left were at it again, saying that Catherine Tate shouldn't be involved in Eurovision because, unlike our solar banjo, she is a racist because of a sketch or something that she did like 20 years ago where she takes the piss out of people and uses lots of different accents because apparently using accents is racist. Really. So now, according to our leftist overlords, taking the piss is racist. Of course, taking the piss out of someone who's ridiculous and having a laugh at their expense is something the left would know nothing about because they all take themselves far too seriously because they're a bunch of miserable fuckers who want to make everyone else as miserable as they are. 
you should always be suspicious of someone who lacks the capacity to laugh at themselves. Take Faulty Towers, for example. They always rail against poor old Manuel because it's taking the piss and it's racist. Well, no, it's not. If you look at Faulty Towers objectively, you can see that it's not Manuel who's ridiculous. They are all ridiculous. You've got Sybil with a fucking Bride of Frankenstein hairdo. And you've got Basil himself, who's utterly ridiculous. About the only one who's not a grotesque in that show is possibly Polly Sherman. But this is what the left do. They exploit weaknesses in the system. They use your tolerance against you. And they come up with shite like authenticity. So only gay actors should play gay characters, really. Okay, what about John Barrowman's American accent? That's not very authentic, because he's not American, he's Scottish. What about David Tennant's accent that he uses when he's playing the Doctor? Because he's not English, he's Scottish. What about our solar banjo as fucking Richard III? That's not very authentic, but that's acceptable to the left. Just like having anti-Semite Maxine Peake playing Hamlet. That's not very authentic, but apparently it is for the left. What about non-binaries like Josh Snares? There's no such thing as fucking non-binary. You're not male and female. You've got a cock, you're a bloke, you're just a homosexual. Trans women aren't authentic either, come to that. But the left is a cult. This is what you have to remember about them. They are a cult. They have their high priests, they have their sacred texts, and if you leave the cult, it's like the mafia. It's omerta. You're dead to us. Why? Because they're miserable fuckers. They see everything through the lens of oppression. No wonder they're fucking miserable. Remember the Happiness Patrol? Well, they are the killjoys. That's not a satire on Thatcherism. It's a satire on the left. The thing is, the left have a stronger frame than the non-left. They believe the bollocks that they believe in more than you believe the non-bollocks that you believe in. So what's the answer? You need to strengthen your frame. You need to start working out for yourself what you really believe in and grow a spine. Start standing up for yourself and for what you believe in because they are coming for your kids. They are coming for your kids. And the longer you just stand and shake your head in despair but don't actually do anything, then we're all going to be fucked, aren't we? Until the next time. Resist those Marxist bastards. Don't be a sheep for fuck's sake. And above all, stay grumpy. If you're a lefty and have been affected by anything in this video, you know what you can do, don't you? Fuck off!